Hello everyone, my name is Michael Schmidt and I'm the Genetic Information Analyst at Accelerated Genetics and this is the latest installment of Making Sense of Proof Information. Today we're going to be touching on a new trait that the CDCB is introducing called cow livability. So picture a situation where the cow leaves the herd. You have two options that she can either leave, dead or alive. Alive would be meaning she's sold for beef or for dairy. But between these two scenarios, there's a quite a big financial difference between the two. So the Council on Dairy Cattle Breeding is publishing this new trait in August for all breeds. And the cow livability trait will predict the cow's ability to remain alive in the herd. Now you may be thinking that's very similar to productive life. Uh, in contrast, productive life is more so a measure of time um, and it measures how long the cow will last in the herd. And this includes cows that are both culled and die on the herd. So that's more encompassing and a relation to time. Uh, in contrast, the cow livability, the new trait that's being introduced, will predict their ability to remain alive in the herd. So yes, they are extremely correlated at 70%, Yes, yet it's enough of a difference that there's progress to be made uh, within livability itself. It is a low heritability trait, uh, similar to other um, traits in the net merit and the TPI formula already that are associated with health and fertility information. So the, her the heritability on cow livability is 1.3%. Fortunately, there's been millions of records of cow lactation information uh, that have been stored in the national databases in the U.S., which gives the reliability of genomic young sires with no daughters uh, reliability of 56% on average. So despite a low heritability trait, with many daughter records and lactation records, they're able to have a higher reliability uh, than expected. So that's a really good sign. Now what does this cow livability value actually mean? Um, to put it into perspective a little bit, about 7% of cows will die uh, within each lactation on the farm. And an average lactation per cow in the U.S. is 2.8. This information is from the National uh, Record Database through DHI. So that will mean 80% of cows will remain alive in the milking herd. And this 80% is used as a baseline for the cow livability trait. If an animal is plus 2 on cow livability, that would mean the animal's 82% uh, of their daughters will remain alive in the farm. Similar for plus 4, 84. Uh, in contrast, a negative value would be subtracting that amount from 80%. So obviously a negative 2 would be 78%. Now putting this into a real world perspective example, if you have two options of bulls to choose from, you can compare them on a level playing field. If one bull is 2.1 for cow livability, that would mean 82.1% of his daughters will remain alive in the herd. Another bull that you're considering would be negative 0.5, which would mean that 79.5% of his daughters would remain alive. The difference between the two is 2.6%. And this 2.6% difference may seem small, but multiplied across the 400 cow dairy would leave you about 10.4 cows on average more that would remain alive in the herd that you could sell for profit instead of take as a loss if they died on the farm. Considering cull cows may be about $1,200 on average, uh, we're looking at about a $12,000 difference uh, when considering a 2.6% difference in cow livability. So cow livability is definitely a win-win scenario for farmers and for cattle. Um, this trait will be able to increase the health and longevity of dairy cows in the U.S. of all breeds. And farmers will also capitalize on this as cows leave the herd and they're able to profit from them. So cow livability will be published for the sire evaluations for all breeds in August. However, they will not be included in the economic indexes from the USDA, such as net merit or grazing merit, cheese merit, or fluid merit. Potentially these indexes could be included with cow livability in the future, but it will not be included in August. Obviously cow well-being is an important factor uh, for all dairy producers and an important part of uh, profitability and success of any farm. Accelerated Genetics is committed to the cow health and longevity of all animals and we believe cow livability is another great tool in helping to create healthy profitable cows for our customers. Just a reminder that all breeds will be included with this new trait so all sire pages and directories will have this trait included for the August genetic evaluations. For more information regarding additional information about the cow livability trait, please contact your Accelerated Genetics representative.